Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic, the project management process groups. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in project management or you want to learn about it. So, let's uh, start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well, so that my new videos can reach to you. So, let's uh, start, friend. Project management process groups. Basically, friend, whenever we talk about uh, project management process groups, are described as the project uh, in the project management body of knowledge that uh, there are five process groups which are initiating, planning, executing, monitoring and controlling and closing. And uh, number of processes are there as well like initiating has two processes, planning has 24, executing has 10, monitoring and controlling has 12 and closing has 1. So five process groups are basically described in the project management body of knowledge. Uh, first of all, notice one thing that process groups are not project phases or stages actually, and these process groups could be repeat in the uh, in the project as well. They might be used in many places in project life cycle and are not sequential steps for completing a project. Despite not truly being project phases, they are often referred to as the five phases of the project management. A project manager must has to understand how and when to apply these processes. Processes, when we talk about processes, have inputs uh, and they used some tools and technique like critical path method, work breakdown structure to produce some result. If we talk about the uh, approach basically is that first we start from the initiating phase. From the initiating phase there will there is a planning and then execution phase and then the closing phase and throughout uh, these phases basically the monitoring and controlling has to be done in the project. Okay so this is the overall approach of process groups and uh, like in the end we can say the strengths of the five process groups or project management phases is that they can be used in the context of just about any project. They provide process templates that can be filled in to meet specific needs. However, alone they may not provide every tool needed for good project management. So friend, uh, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And thanks a lot for watching the video.